What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing a soap that was just sent to me. Now you all know that I love the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. It's my favorite foam cannon. Uh, I sell them on my personal site, but I also just recommend you guys can buy them on Amazon. Fantastic foam cannon. And MJJC just reached out to me and sent me their own high foaming soap. So in today's video, we're gonna be testing this out, seeing it, now this is a pH neutral soap, so we're not expecting a ton of cleaning ability without agitation, but we are gonna be testing that. I'm gonna foam up a panel, just let it dwell, rinse it, and see how much it cleans off. And then we will also test and kind of just feel anecdotally the uh, lubrication abilities of this product, because that's really what you're looking for, uh, in my personal opinion, when you're using a pH neutral soap. You want it to be able to clean up some, but you also want to be able to add a ton of lubrication, so when you go in for your contact wash, it's encapsulating the dirt, adding lubrication, so you're not leaving any marring or adding any scratches or anything like that to the paint. So in order to test that, we're gonna be doing two different tests. We're gonna be using it within the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro and seeing just how well it works with that. Now, I wanna test it with another foam cannon as well because the MJJC Foam Cannon gets a ton of foam regardless of the soap you're using. Um, so it's really, really effective. That's why I like that foam cannon so much. It gives a lot of foam. But I wanna test and see how much foam it gets when you use a cheaper foam cannon. So for this test, we're going to be using the Armorall Foam Cannon. I like this one a lot. This one does have the 1.1 millimeter orifice upgrade to it so it will help get more foam um, but still in comparison to the MJC it's not even close so we're gonna test this and we're gonna do that by taking the soap it says to use uh, 100 milliliters and a thousand milliliter foam cannon so what foam cannons are typically a thousand milliliters so 100 milliliters is basically 3.3 ounces now to get a perfect dilution ratio, I have this really cool little tool here. This attaches right onto the top and then we're able to squeeze and fill it up. So right off the bat guys, I'll show you here. You can just turn this top right here. And as you can see, the adjustment comes down, right? So we need 3.3 ounces. So I'm gonna go all the way up. This measures out to three ounces. And then let's go a little bit above that to get to the 3.3. That should be good there. And what we'll do now is I'm gonna go ahead and shorten up the tube so that it fits nicely into my bottle so i'm just going to take a quick measurement just you know a rough measurement here i'm going to chop it there okay so now the the tube has been trimmed we can take this off now i already use this so there's a little protective cap that you can pop off as well just so it doesn't spill during shipment which is nice but now we can slide this in tighten this down and now we can squeeze the bottle and it fills from the top so let me get out of the way so that it focuses on this for you fills to the top and then once you're done you let go and it drops back down to where you actually wanted it. So it gives you an exact precise measurement without you having to try and uh, dictate it too much. Now, the really cool thing about this is now we will go ahead and open this up. All we have to do with this now is pop the little top on it and pour it right in. Simple as that, we have the perfect amount that, we, that this calls for. And that's really nice because you can actually just store it like that. It's a cap, right? Keeps it everything nice and in there and then you can measure out your product as needed. Now guys, I actually have these available on my site now as well. So if you want them, um, I'll put a link down in the description for you guys so you can go and get one of these. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and take this back to the front of the shop. We'll fill it up with water to the thousand milliliter mark and then we'll test it on, uh, on my van, which is white, but we'll spray it onto the window so we can see exactly how thick it is on there. All right guys, now it's late, it's dark outside, so I'm gonna do my best to show you. Uh, I'm going to be using the Ryobi 1800 PSI 1.2 GPM pressure washer, just because uh, the high foaming soap, when we use it with a uh, lower PSI pressure washer, you don't get as much foam, and we wanna test just how much foam you can get even when using something like this. So I'm gonna hook this up and then we'll spray it on the van. Okay guys, so my Armor All foam cannon is actually not working properly. It's just been sitting on a shelf for I don't know how long now. It's blowing out the sides, not working. So instead, we're using the Amazon Basics foam cannon. Here is the Amazon Basics foam cannon. Everything's adjusted, so we're gonna go ahead and spray it onto the uh, window, and here we go. Okay, so along with the window, I did go ahead and spray part of the hood as well. And as you can see, it's good coverage. It's just not super thick. It's just not. Um, it's a good thickness. We're gonna test this now. We're gonna put Meguiar's Gold Class in the same foam cannon and test it that way. Um, but as you can see, guys, this is that section. If you just watched my latest video where I did the uh, review of the Cerakote paint sealant uh, rapid ceramic, you can see 
the soap is being fought off here. This section is still re performing really well compared to all this stuff over here. Okay, so before I switch over to a different soap, I'm just gonna take this solution, pour it in the MJJC so you guys can see the difference there between this and that. And here we go, here's the bottle for the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. I'm just gonna take the solution, pour it directly in here. Because I'm doing this, it may foam out a little bit just because it's falling from a higher level. We actually don't need that much anyway, but I'm gonna just keep pouring. If anything, this is actually gonna lighten our dilution ratio, but um, still, there you go. Okay, so we're switched back, ready to go with the MJJC now, and here we go. So as you can see, it's a night and day difference. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit. Um, but yeah, night and day, it's just completely thick, total coverage, even though it was fighting off this section where the Cerakote Rapid Ceramic was, there's just too much uh, foam here. So it's just sitting on top, which is good because it's giving that everything a uh, chance to break down all that dirt. So regardless of the soap, guys, the MJJC just gets way more foam. So I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, the Amazon Basics now, put, uh, let's see, Meguiar's Gold Class in it and then we'll test it and see if there's a big difference between those two. Okay, so actually I'm going to be using Meguiar's Snow Foam Extreme Clean uh, Wash instead, just to see, because this is more of a, you know, traditionally known as a foaming wash. Got it filled up in the foam cannon. We're gonna go ahead and test it out on the panel. Now remember, the, when I tested the MJJC, it went onto a wet, or sorry, a dry panel, which usually helps it stick a little bit better as opposed to a wet surface, but here we go. It's onto a wet surface now. And here we go. Yeah, so very, very, very similar results. Ultimate snow foam, extreme clean. Now last up guys, to compare another soap, we're using Adam's Mega Foam. Now the MJJC uh, soap and the Meguiar's Ultimate Snow Foam soap, uh, both got that three ounce product, or 3.3 3 ounces and then three ounces. For the Adam's, I'm only using two ounces of product. Uh, so here we go, again, going onto a wet panel. So I would say guys, again, now this isn't as good as the MJJC foam cannon when you're using it with a foam cannon, um, but this is definitely getting more soap than anything else. Adam's Mega Foam is still the leader on the highest foam uh, content just out of the soap. Um, now with that said, does that mean it's better? No, absolutely not, right? The cleaning ability and the lubrication are key factors, especially when you're just considering a pH neutral soap. So uh, with that said guys, let's go ahead and jump into Earlier in the day now, I'm gonna be showing you the test that I did, kind of just testing out how it cleans without any agitation and then how it cleans with agitation, lubrication, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, let's test the cleaning ability of this stuff. I had a vehicle at the shop today. This is one of the body shops I work with. I went and picked it up. Uh, this is a Tesla Model X. It has been sitting outside for quite a bit of time. As you can see, the surface of it is very, very dirty um, outside of the spots where they actually repainted. Everything else is super filthy on this thing. The upper A pillar or the roof rail essentially, uh, that is filthy. So we're gonna be testing it mainly on that. I'm gonna foam up the car. We're gonna foam up that little piece, let it dwell for about a minute. Just let it sit there and I'm gonna come and rinse off part of it. Uh, what that's gonna do is tell me, is this actually breaking down some of the dirt and everything and actually washing it away or is it not really doing anything? Again, this is a pH neutral soap. We don't expect a ton of cleaning power, but we do expect some. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it down. And I gotta tell you guys, as I'm doing this, the foam absolutely smells great. It's kinda got a coconut scent to it. Now just out of the bottle, if you just sniff it there, it's a little overbearing, but once you dilute it in a foam cannon, it smells absolutely fantastic. This obviously you can also use this in a uh, uh, bucket method, so keep that in mind. Um, but as I'm going here, rinsing it off, we reinspect it. I'm gonna let that dry. We're gonna reinspect it, and it looks pretty good. It definitely took a lot of the grime off. Now this part, like I mean, before I did this, I touched it with my hand. It was caked on there pretty good, and this definitely removed a bunch of it. Is it completely gone and clean? Absolutely not. If you look up close, uh, you'll be able to see the part that I didn't rinse off, and you can see it's really caked on there. The other side is significantly better. Um, I would say 60 to 70% 
better, um, you know, of removal of that dirt and contamination. So I like that. It's doing a good job. It's a pH neutral soap, but it does have good cleaning ability. Now, just anecdotally, guys, as I was washing the car down, it felt very, very, very slick. It did a fantastic job of creating lubrication. I really liked it on, on for that purpose. So uh, it's a good soap to use as a clay lubricant. You can foam it up and go in and clay. A lot of people like to just use a specific clay lube. I personally don't. I like to work efficiently and faster. So I like to foam and clay. Typically what I'll do is I'll uh, use a higher pH soap, foam it, get it all done, contact wash, and then go in and clay. But I like to use the soap as my lubricant. So now let's talk about where to get this soap. I don't know. Currently, I don't know. I looked at it, I looked for it on Amazon. I didn't see it there yet, but they may be sending it in. Um, so you may be able to find it there. I did write MJJC and ask them, hey, where is this gonna be available? You can currently buy it on their site, but I think it, the shipping is quite a long time. So am I gonna be stocking this stuff in myself since I carry the MJJC Foam Canner Pro? I don't know. I like the product. I think it's really, really good. It's, uh, it's not the highest foaming, but it's from MJDC, so you would pair this with their foam cannon and it worked fantastic. That's what I used on the Tesla and you can see it works amazingly well. Now performance wise, I would say it's pretty close to the Meguiar's uh, Ultimate Snow Foam. So keep that in mind, but I, will, I haven't really tested the Snow Foam in that exact situation that I did with this where I foam one section, let it dwell, rinse it off and test it. But this, I have to say, did perform really, really well in that situation. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps uh, kind of give some clarity. I think some people have been seeing this stuff around and wondering how good it is. I think it's a great product. It worked really well. Is it the highest foaming? No, but again, when you pair it with the MJJC, it's fantastic. So that's it, guys. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, turn on the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.